Who does he think he is to barge into my lesson like that? I certainly hope he's got a good explanation for it. So, he's preparing himself for his final examination and hence feels very full of himself, does he? Then I can scarcely wait to see how our promising young adept holds his own in practice. He will examine whether the eternal peace of the souls in the crypt of Avoncast has been disturbed. And if there should be any restless skeletons, he shall ward them off. And he shall return only when complete tranquility reigns there once again. I shall otherwise have to put a damper on his oh-so-important calling. Has he understood? He does not know. Coming down here to the crypt. An adept. Remarkable. I am Easteros. Once I was a powerful fire mage, but that was long ago. I'm really getting weary of my existence as a ghost in this crypt. Skeletons and ghosts fighting everywhere. It is good that you came to restore peace, but it should be final. 
And to accomplish that, you would have to stop Tertius once and for all. He is trying to seize power again, with all the means at his disposal. Oh, far too long. Listen, if you promise to get rid of this troublemaker once and for all, I will disclose for you my secret hiding place. Go to the main western chamber, and from there, all the way south. There is a wall there, but if you try to pass through it, you will enter my secret refuge. You will find a powerful potion for protection against fire there. It will help you to pass through the great wall of flames in front of my burial chamber. There you will find some of my most prized possessions, which may help you carry out your task.
So, have you found... Of course. Go to the main western burial chamber, and from there to the southern wall of that room. You can pass through... Greetings, young apprentice. Ah, yes, Malverin. The final examination is taking place soon. Well, crystallography. It's just that I'm currently quite busy with my work, you know. And then there are also these trees. So, are you here for a stamp? Well, that could be arranged, I suppose. I would actually have a good task for you there. The matter is that there are two so-called Nuau trees in the garden of our academy. They were a gift from Uan, which, as it turns out, is somewhat complicated. It is actually the case that the two trees, a red tree and a blue one, don't like each other. They use their branches to keep fighting each other during certain seasons. They currently are in a phase like that again, which of course is extremely bothersome. The only thing you can do is to give them this special fertilizer that will calm them down again. But this fertilizer is made by Kalios. As you can surely imagine, I am quite busy, but I would appreciate it very much if you could visit Kalios in order to fetch the fertilizer. Apply it to the trees and deal with the remaining branches that are still thrashing about on the ground. You would get my seal for doing that. The garden would be peaceful once again, and we could still chat a little about crystals afterwards. Kalios works in the laboratory tower. You have to walk southeast from the court with the great statue. 
The trees are in the garden. You can't miss them. One of them is red, while the other is blue. And as I have told you already before, they fight each other with their branches. A visitor? That's fortuitous, as I happen to need some help with my next experiment. Why don't you go and get the ice spray spell from the storage room next door, and then give me some help in extinguishing the fire dwarfs, if things should go wrong. I'll give you the key to the room to take with you. before they ruin my whole laboratory! Give you my thanks. Without your help, it would have taken far too long. So, the trees are causing trouble again, right? Of course I can give you the fertilizer straight away. I'm just about to try to make a fire crystal. That would be a great way to collect energy. Like constructing a staff that recharges its fire energy by itself. But I'm simply not having any success at all. You see the pots here, right? I've got to get them very hot, but they must not get too hot, otherwise they will explode and the fire dwarves will ruin it all again. You must try to cool them down with the ice spray spell. You can tell by the colours which ones should be cooled down first. If the cover is red, it's already critical. Orange is on the edge. Nothing may be permitted to explode as long as I am busy.
I can't believe it. We're just not having any success at all.